back uh, the last time we, we visited with you. People were just getting used to this. Let's get to the first text here. Haven't been able to settle into that routine that you and I talked about while working at home with the kids. What can people do? And I know you advised and, and gave routines, but now it's not working for some people. What do they do? Well, if it's not working, we got to course correct. We got to adjust. So I recommend, first of all, awareness is the first key. So if it's not working, let's change it. Maybe, you know, you need to change your, your work routine. I have a lot of people I mentor that they have to work when the kids go to bed now. Uh, they have little ones at home. And so just be aware and then make that change based on your life and not anyone else's life because all of our lives look drastically different. Mm. If we have kids, if we don't, what we're practicing, all that good stuff. All right, next text coming in for Emily. I'm a manager working from home. How can I be supportive but keep everybody motivated and accountable? I feel, of course, more effective when I'm there with them at the office. Absolutely. And I, I have been running teams virtually for almost a decade. And so what I recommend is high touch communication, get together with them on zoom every single day for at least 20 minutes and check in with everyone, see, you know, what everyone's going to do for the day, what's their goals for the week and really be supportive during this time. So high touch communication, high tech communication is what is key. Okay, next okay, one next uh, for people uh, who for people. obviously are in charge of offices. How can I keep my productivity up during this kind of time of flux? Mm, yeah, you know, I recommend self-care first and foremost. You cannot lead others if you do not lead yourself. So really honoring your sleep, your morning routine, um, but then just get crystal clear on what you need to do today. Today, all we can control is today. So what do you need to do today? And then take breaks throughout your day to uh, realign yourself, refocus, figure out why you're doing all this in the first place. And that's really my recommendation, always coming back to why you're doing it and what your overall goal is and just taking it day by day. Okay, and, and for you or for me, uh, there are gonna be days where it's, this isn't, the jam isn't there. Uh, I feel like my energy drops to zero some days. How do I snap out of that? Mm, it's called being human, and I deal with it as well. Uh, so what I do is recognize that I need to turn up my spiritual life, my self-care life. I need to um, subside the fear, uh, that false evidence appearing real. And so I just take a minute. I actually had to do that yesterday. Uh, I took a good book. I started writing a gratitude list. And there is moments that it's okay to break down. It's okay to cry. Just keep it at a moment. Keep it at a day. But then get back up, dust yourself off, and try again. And I have found if I call someone, the having that communication really helps me a lot. And it gets me back going again. Yeah, sometimes if it just gets bad, just go in the backyard with a book for two hours. But let them know where you are so they don't think you wandered off. Emily, thank you so much for all your great tips. 